When I spoke here last winter, this nation was facing the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Now, as any American who is still looking for work or a way to pay their bills will tell you, we are by no means out of the woods. A full and vibrant recovery is still many months away. There are now more than 30 million American citizens who cannot get coverage. But the problem that plagues the health care system is not just a problem for the uninsured. Those who do have insurance have never had less security and stability than they do today. Then there's the problem of rising cost. We spend one and a half times more per person on health care than any other country. But we aren't any healthier for it. Finally, our health care system is placing an unsustainable burden on taxpayers. When health care costs grow at the rate they have, it puts greater pressure on programs like Medicare and Medicaid. These are the facts. Nobody disputes them. We know we must reform this system. The question is how. Now, there are those on the left who believe that the only way to fix the system is through a single-payer system like Canada's, where we, would, where we would severely restrict the private insurance market and have the government provide coverage for everybody. Where we would severely restrict the private insurance market and have the government provide coverage for everybody. Severely restrict the private insurance market. Now, if you're one of the tens of millions of Americans who don't currently have health insurance. The second part of this plan will finally offer you quality, affordable choices. We'll do this by creating a new insurance exchange, a marketplace where individuals and small businesses will be able to shop for health insurance at competitive prices. Insurance companies will have an incentive to participate in this exchange because it lets them compete for millions of new customers. As one big group, these customers will have greater leverage to bargain with the insurance companies for better prices and quality coverage.
we provide these affordable options. There may be those, especially the young and the healthy, who still want to take the risk and go without coverage. There may still be companies that refuse to do right by their workers by giving them coverage. The problem is such irresponsible behavior costs all the rest of us money. And that's why under my plan, individuals will be required to carry basic health insurance, just as most states require you to carry auto insurance. Unfortunately, in 34 states, 75% of the insurance market is controlled by five or fewer companies. In Alabama, almost 90% is controlled by just one company. And without competition, the price of insurance goes up and quality goes down. And it makes it easier for insurance companies to treat their customers badly by cherry-picking the healthiest individuals and trying to drop the sickest, by overcharging small businesses who have no leverage, and by jacking up rates. Insurance executives don't do this because they're bad people. They do it because it's profitable, and especially the young and the healthy who still want to take the risk and go without coverage. Such irresponsible behavior costs all the rest of us money. Insurance executives don't do this because they're bad people. They do it because it's profitable.